everybody with Marilyn really here. And, well, all I can say is, it's been five fantastic years. Thank you guys so much for all the support and help that you've given me throughout these years. It's been so helpful that it's helped me make all these videos. Thank you guys so much. Jeez, July 29th, 2010. I can remember the day. I'm still in awe from it. I mean, wow, five years. Just as a point of reference, thank you guys so much for 2,000, over 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe that because back in 2010, the most someone had in subscribers was, I think it was Key Gray with like, just got over a thousand on his new channel, Thomas Wooden Railway. And that's crazy as a point of reference, five years later. We just see how much times have changed. So wow, <laughs> thank you guys so much, so much for all the support. This has been a fantastic journey these five years. I've met so many great people, MPS, Eric Pier 53, Percy number six, Thomas Wooden Railway, Key Ray 24, and Ted, and everybody else, thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. It's just helped me throughout all these years. And I don't know what else to say. Just, I'm just awestruck, gonna blaze and everything. This is crazy five years. Wow, so I want to give back to you guys, and I'll be in a contest, but that's coming up here. First, I want to give you guys some of my details of how my adventure began with Thomas. So basically, it started when I was one years old with this engine right here, the 2001 Thomas. Edge wear on it and everything. Just so many countless adventures with this. He led me into the show. I mean, I was at like a family friend's house and I picked him up and I couldn't let him down. He just so iconic. I've heard the story so many times because I love it. Couldn't let Thomas down. And so he led me into the show, which started out with this VHS right here. The Best of Thomas VHS. Now this was released in 2001, and there's so many great things on it. Now the 50 cent thing, I actually tried selling it at a garage sale, and it didn't sell. But I'm glad I kept this. Wow. So many great years. Now this is when over 50 years, and now it's been 70 years. Jeez. And all the great stories there with a really useful engine to top it all off. So that's where I started with this. Best of Thomas VHS. Then there came the 2002 new, like, uh, I guess, refresh to the TWR. And I really like that. Because here is a 2002 Thomas. And this one I played with a lot. It's just, it was bulkier and easy to move around the track. And just look at this. This was 2002, and then look at it now. I can hardly believe that. That's crazy. So this... This one had a lot in my life. Then, next thing I wanted to show off to you guys is uh, not like my second VHS, but it just got a great memory to it. This is the James Goes Buzz Buzz VHS. And it's just a great, great cover there. It's shown its wear and tear. Now, this one's 25 cents, and I'm so glad I kept this. <sighs> you can just see, I love this VHS. My dad took me up to a hobby shop and I picked this out of all the VHS's. Probably just because of the cover here. And I've always loved the VHS. That VHS in particular. Then, a couple years later, came out my, va my absolute favorite VHS slash DVD. That is the New Friends for Thomas VHS. Now this one had Michael Angelus on it. For some reason, he did the US for... I'm not quite sure why, but this was narrated by Michael Angelus, but it's not credited on here, which is strange. But anyways, I've lo I just love every single thing in this VHS. I mean, you look at the stories. Gordon and Spencer, Emily's New Coaches, A Spotless Record, Peace and Quiet, Jack Jumps In, A Friend in Need, Five New Engines in the Shed. Each one of them, even the song, gets at least a 9.5 out of 10 from me. And that's why the seventh season is my absolute favorite season, even though Jack jumps in, jumps in and a friend in need are from the sixth season. I absolutely love the seventh season. That's why I own it uh, from the UK edition of the complete series. Now, I don't have that on me, but anyways, I'm going to continue on. Then the line went on through, and I just collected throughout these old throughout years. 
accused of pamphlet from 2006. Wow. I have a lot of these pamphlets. I love to keep them. I hoard all my boxes and everything. Just reminds me of great, great times. So thank you guys once again. It's just so awesome to see you grow up and you play with things like these and then years later, like decade like a decade and a couple years later, here here I am making videos for you guys for entertainment and you're all really enjoying them and I just bring so much joy to me. To see that you guys enjoy watching these. So thank you guys so much. I cannot thank you guys enough. So that's why I want to get right into the competition. But first, I have a couple more things to get through. So, next I want to show you what tell you guys about my favorite characters. And that'll be my top five. Now, favorite characters. I have a top five list gathered. And I think there's so, I mean, it's not even five. It's more. Because a lot of them tie. But anyways, my first favorite character has to be Arthur here. I've always had a soft spot for Arthur ever since I saw him in the spotless record. I felt bad for him after he got in his accident because it was Thomas playing a trick on him. And then we, see, you know, then we saw him in the something fishy, and there he does something great, and he helps Thomas out. Arthur just, I've always liked him. His engine, his tank engine style, a nice, polite, kind engine. Introduced in the seventh season, my absolute favorite season. And it's, there's no other reason why I shouldn't like Arthur. I just, I've always liked him, and I think I always will. So Arthur, you will remain my number one favorite character. Second is here, Boko. I've always liked Boko as the guardian of Bill and Ben, or the, he watches over Bill and Ben, and I've always liked that, and like, you better listen to Boko, because Boko's usually right. And that's usually true. And that's, I don't know, that's why I like Boko. He's always like, he's kind, and he takes off of Edward, helps out, and... Well, he's Boko. That's why he makes the number two spot. Number three has to go to Oliver. Oliver has had such great adventures in Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Just from Oliver owns up to Toad stands by to escape. Well, escape, of course, was the first one. But just... Oh, I just hit the tripod. So many great adventures for Oliver, and I've always liked him like playing with him. That's why he's in my number three, because... Without Toad, I mean, I've always had him pulling, like, uh, some trucks. And he's keeping them in order, and the trucks try to play a joke. And Oliver teaches them, oh, you better respect us engines. And stuff like that. So Oliver, of course, makes my top five. Now, number four, there's a very, very close tie. And that has to be between James and Bill and Ben. Now, I've always liked these three characters. Bill and Ben, the mischievous twins, uh, I don't know how you can't like them. They're humorous, they're playing jokes on everybody. It's like when, uh, I think, I forget the episode, I think it might be Wrong Road, it's like, they tri they tease Gordon. Oh wait, is this a piece of scrap or something like that? Oh, Bill and Ben, have, I've always liked them, and then James, always, always liked James. As I think back. There's never a moment where, like, oh, like, back before Arthur was out, and this, I used to be like, who's your favorite character? And I always go, James. And they'd be like, why? It's like, maybe because of his vanity, or he knows that he's a splendid red engine. I've just, I've always played with James, because he's always a fun character to play with, because you can do anything you want. Like, James could act up, oh, I'm the most splendid red engine on the island, and then gets all dirty and the other engines make fun of him and then he makes up for himself and stuff like that and then Bill and Ben if I always like playing with them too because you can make like with with Boko here Boko could tell them what to do and they don't do it right and just I'm near speechless about these characters they're just so good so that is my number four spot James Bill and Ben and then my number five is actually Murdoch He's actually sticking out there. So I've always liked Murdoch's shape, like how he's appeared, and the goods engine, and always like this peace and quiet. And then his theme. Oh, his theme. Loved his theme. Also, I've always liked pretty much everyone's theme. Like Arthur's theme is definitely in my top three. Arthur's theme is fantastic. The season seven themes also what make it my favorite season. They're just great. Well, not the US versions, 
but the UK versions are just fantastic. So I've always liked them. So anyways, now on to the part you've all been waiting for. That is the competition. So I'm going to take over to Brendam Docks. Now here's where I had the set of Salty's Stormy Tail. Now obviously, I, it was rain right before this, so it's a little bit darker over here. But I have to get this video out before I go to Minnesota. So anyways, on to the competition. Now Thomas and Friends, and Tom, or Thomas the Tank Engine, or whatever you prefer, has been out for 70 years. From the railway series, to the TV series, from annual stores, to everything. Thomas has been here for 70 years. And that's crazy. I mean, I can barely even think of that. So to commemorate this special year, I have decided to have a competition where I have sort of out thought outside the box for this. Now, everybody has a favorite episode or a favorite scene from an episode. Like, I have so many favorite episodes as my number one spot. I, don't, I think it'd be like a top ten list, but it'd be my number one favorite episode. They all tie. They're all fantastic. So, what I ask of you guys is to remake your absolute favorite scene or favorite episode from Thomas and Friends. Like, I know a lot of people like the Flying Kipper. You can remake that Flying Kipper scene for this competition or the full episode either one doesn't it doesn't matter to me you can do either one or if you have a favorite railway series story or a railway series book even if you want to do a full book go ahead it is whatever is your favorite go ahead just please use your creativity and have some fun with this I'm very excited to do this competition anyways now I have a few rules that you have to follow so number one please keep your videos over 30 seconds. I do not want any videos that are under 30 seconds because I feel like that's a little short. Because if people are going to be doing full episodes and you just do a scene that's 20 seconds, it's a little unfair, like as in effort given in. I mean, you can give a lot of effort for 20 seconds, but you know, people that give in like a full four minutes, that's a little bit more. So please keep your videos over 30 seconds if you're doing a scene. Number two, please don't advertise your videos. And the only reason why I say that is because I'm going to be the one that's judging the competition. So there's no real reason to advertise and like, oh, get this many views on this, please, so I can win the competition. I'm, the, I'm going to be the judge of the competition. So it doesn't matter how many views you have. I'll be seeing what's in store. Number three, only one entry is allowed. Now, if you do have a couple of favorite episodes or things or clips... You, I'm sorry, but you're, you're only allowed to do one. So you're really going to have to narrow it down. So thank you if you're narrowing these down already. Now, rule number four. If you're going to use the narration from an episode, please do not monetize your videos because you will receive a copyright strike. Like if you use, I don't know, Michael Braden's uh, narration from the seventh season or anything like that, Please do not monetize the competition video as it would not be like, I would not want you to get copyright strike or anything else like that just because just of this competition. So please stay away from that. Number five, I guess this counts as a rule, but you are allowed to use any type of Thomas merchandising or brand that has been available from the Thomas range. So that goes from anywhere from the wooden railway, which is actually right here to even the minis that just came out. You can use anything. So, yeah, go ahead, have some fun with that. Okay, rule number six is please title your video Wooden Railway Only's Five-Year Anniversary Contest and then hyphen or dash your username. So if you would use that, I will be easily able to find your videos on YouTube. So thank you. But before you do that, please leave a comment below that you're saying that you are entering. I'll be checking for whoever's entering in the comments. But if you don't put in the comments, I'm sure I'll find your way around. And then rule number seven. Have fun and use your creativity. I want this to be fun and energetic and just have fun because this is the 70th year of Thomas and Friends and it only comes around once. So please enjoy yourselves while you're doing this. And now for the prizes that are up for grabs. For the 5th place spot, there is a 2002 Butch with the magnets on both sides. 
Now I've had a couple of these butches and I've always liked this one. I don't really prefer the newer one. These ones are great because of the double end magnet. Now Butch is looking for a new home and you can win him. Now onto the fourth place spot. That is a 2004 Jack. Now I've always liked Jack's character, always. The friendliest front loader the island's ever seen. And you can win him in the competition. Prize number three. A metallic green 60th anniversary Percy. Now I believe this came with the Percy Saves the Day 60th anniversary uh, DVD. I believe it came with that with a thin case. But anyways, I have about three of these Percy's and it's time for this person to get a new home. He does have a little bit of edge wear, but that's from being in my collection. Prize number two. Bolstrode. Now this Bolstrode came from a friend and I don't really need them anymore since I already have another Bolstrode. So Bolstrode is available. And the number one prize to be won is a 2001 Wilbert. And he's in okay shape, but he's a Wilbert and he's very hard to find. So he's up for grabs for first place. Now I'm going to rearrange so you can see all the prizes. So there are all five prizes and all on all the trains on the right and everything, they're unavailable. So as I'm actually going to reorganize so you can see everything here. But Butch, I guess the people aren't going to look that. But anyways, those are the prizes up for grabs as I bring it down. So please, if you're going to participate, go ahead. But I have one thing. Now the entries for this competition will have to be due September 4th. 2015. Now that is a Friday, so it's Friday, September 4th, 2015. So that gives just over a month for you guys to get this project done. And I know everyone will be getting back to school, so you will have a pretty much a full month to complete these entries. Thank you for participating if you're going to participate, and good luck. Well, I've come to the conclusion of this video. Wow, is it hard. Thank you for watching all of my videos from these past five years. It is greatly appreciated for me. I mean, getting all this, I guess, fame or whatever for watching, for just watching my videos that I love to make. I mean, I was inspired to make these. So just thank you so, so much for watching this and all these videos from the past five years. Just wow. I'm just ablazed five years. I'm just going to keep repeating that five years. So once more, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And have a nice day. If you're entering the competition, good luck. This is Wooden Railway Only Out, and have a nice day. Goodbye for now.